I wonder if nerve endings in a chipmunk body are the same as in a red squirrel body. Oh, Mother Nature, I am in agony! Scientific method! Banded! We know so much about the world through the common process codified in the 17th century and developed through the years called the scientific method. Generally, it consists of these steps. 1. When you are curious about something, form a question. Then you propose a hypothesis, a guess that be proven true or false. 3. You make a prediction about the results of a test. Experiment! This is where you take action. Gather the information, the supplies, environment, and conditions needed to determine whether the world behaves like your hypothesis. Analysis. Determine what your results show and what action to take next. Notice how the scientific method does not give you a clear answer to your question. That's because all questions lead to new processes that itself repeats over and over and over again. Because we are all curious to know more about the future. What happens if I pour this unknown substance into this other unknown substance? My no. hypothesis. Let's do another hypothesis. <laughs>